In IELTS Academic Writing Task 1, you are required to write an overview paragraph after your introduction where you describe the most important values of the graph. Uh, in this video, I'll show you how you can do that. Hey everyone, this is Dory. I'm a teacher of English and today I want to show you uh, how to write an overview paragraph. The overview paragraph follows the introduction and uh, you include in it the, the highest values, usually the lowest values or any other information that you think uh, it's worth mentioning. You don't uh, write any numbers or percentages or anything like that other than the dates uh, of the years, the dates of the graph. So uh, in this video we're going to use a sample uh, task of academic writing task 1 in order to show you how you can write an overview paragraph. So let's go and have a look at it. Okay, this is our sample topic. It is, it is a pie chart, right? And it shows the US spending on food for 2013. You can see your pie chart here and uh, different types of food, okay? Let's just read the overview paragraph, which I repeat, uh, goes follows the introduction, okay? So, the highest amount of expenditure in 2013 was on vegetables, while the lowest amount was spent on spices. There was only a slight difference between the second most popular food choice, which was meat, and the third one, which was fruit. So, as you can see, we firstly focus on the highest and the lowest values, the here, the highest amount of expenditure and the lowest amount of expenditure, and then on whatever else attracts our attention. Uh, in this case, we just refer to the second most popular food choice and the third one, and we made a comparison between the two, okay? Uh, you should remember in general that you should refer to four points in your overview. Here we have the first point of uh, the most the highest um, amount of expenditure the second point is at the lowest amount of uh, spending the third point is about the second most popular choice and uh, our fourth point is the third most popular choice which is very close to the third choice so we have four points altogether of course it depends on the task which uh, points you will uh, choose to refer to in your overview uh, but overall if you remember that you should find four points and compare uh, and make comparisons between two of them at least uh, you should be fine to find them you know another important thing is to use connectors such as while uh, here while you make your comparisons right and don't forget this is very important in your overview you never use any numbers. You don't refer to the numbers or percentages that you have uh, in your pie chart or graph or diagram in detail. If you want to refer to something, uh, it could be the date, 2013, especially if you have two dates or more than two dates, uh, but nothing else, okay? But an important thing to remember as well is that in your next paragraph, you shouldn't forget these values that you wrote in your overview. You should start with them and analyze them in detail by mentioning their numbers or percentages this time. Many students make this mistake. They forget uh, whatever they said in their overview and in the next paragraph they start saying something different. Uh, this is where your essay lacks cohesion. You should start with these points, analyze them in detail and then move on to the rest uh, that you can find in your diagram. Okay, that was it for today. I really do hope it helped you. If it did, please do like and subscribe. Also, do check out the description box below the video because you can find other links to other videos, my website and uh, my social media links. You can also uh, find my number, the link to my number one recommendation if you're interested in an online uh, self-study IELTS course. Uh, until next time, thank you very much for watching and good luck with your exam!